Welcome to next session of my pharmacology series. So today the topic of my discussion is particularly the drugs what are used in heavy metal toxicity. So today I'll be focusing upon this topic. So the drugs what are used in heavy metal toxicity, the in mnemonic or the short trick as to how we can very easily remember the drugs what are used in metal toxicity can be better remembered if we just look at the initial of the alphabets of the letter metal. So the mnemonic or the short trick what I have made is metal. That is M-E-T-A-L, M-E-T-A-L, where every alphabet of the letter metal is going to correspond to one of the toxicity and the related drug for it. So viewers, uh, while talking of the heavy metal toxicity over here, so uh, the basic action of these drugs, what they do is, they are, if a metal is, uh, in a very toxic dose in the body, if in some or the other manner, if a drug is administered and it is um, administered to such an extent that it has become toxic to the human body, so that these drugs what are going to act on them, they are going to elicit their action by forming chelating complexes. That is, their action is particularly by formation of chelate complexes or by the chelating agents are used to eliminate such drugs from the body when they are in excess. So the mode of action of the, the drugs what are used in metal toxicity is the treatment. It is the treatment is by the chelating agents. So chelating agents are the drugs what are used in heavy metal toxicity. So if we just look at the alphabets M-E-T-A-L, we can very easily make out as to what are the toxicities, different types of metal toxicities. So the first M of the metal is going to correspond to the mercury toxicity. So if a patient is having a certain kind of a mercury toxicity, the treatment, the drug of choice, the drug of choice is British anti-lewisite. So BAL, that is British anti-lewisite, is the drug of choice for mercury toxicity. Now moving on to the E of the metal. That is the E of the metal is corresponding to the enzyme defect causing copper toxicity. So viewers, uh, while discussing about this, the enzyme defect causing copper toxicity is very famously known as the Wilson's disease. So this is the Wilson's disease where it Wilson's disease occurs due to copper toxicity. So the drug of choice here is penicillamine. Now moving on to the T of the metal, here I'll be, uh, the T of the metal corresponds to the transfusion and tablets of hematinix. Alright, so if hematinix are, if a patient is anemic and certain kind of administration is there for the hematinix, it is going to lead to iron toxicity. So viewers, the hematinix are going to lead to iron toxicity. So this iron toxicity can be treated. The drug of choice for iron toxicity is desferoxamine. This is a very famous and a very common and a most important MCQs which are being asked in the various competitive medical PG entrances and different kinds of examinations. All right. So for iron toxicity, the drug of choice is desferoxamine. So where hematinix are administered to a toxic dose, so iron toxicity will occur and the drug of choice is desferoxamine. Now moving on to the A. So A here refers to the another metal that is arsenic poisoning. So this arsenic poisoning is again treated by the drug of choice over here is British anti levisite British anti levisite is the drug of choice for arsenic poisoning. Finally, the L of the metal, it is going to correspond to the lead toxicity. So whenever a patient is suffering from lead toxicity, so the drug of choice what is used is calcium disodium edentate. So viewers, this was my mnemonic or the short trick as to how we can very easily remember the different types of metal toxicities and the drug of choice for the different types of metal toxicities. So viewers, if you do like my video, don't forget to subscribe my channel and do press the bell icon so that you can be further updated about my newer videos. Thank you for watching.